An important part of dealing with the hopping, jumping mind that is scattered and uh, is wayward and just takes you away from what you intend to do is the whole training in focus where you decide you're going to pay attention to a particular thing and check and adjust when your mind has wandered off and come back. There's another very important way of dealing with the hopping, jumping, uh, distracted mind. And in a way, it's almost the opposite of the intentional focus. So in this uh, approach, it's what you could call receptive sensitivity. So you have an intention to just come into experience. So this is done in the context of not having any particular job or task or project to do at that moment. So you've put things aside, you've, as it were, ring-fenced your time. You're not going to have to jump off and do anything. You can just have a certain amount of time just being aware of yourself. So this is in contrast to being observant of things outside of yourself, which is of course important. But here the intention is to come in and to be sensitive and receptive and notice what's here in your experience. And part of that is just giving yourself time to settle into what's here. So that the first thing you might point yourself is what's obviously here, you know, in terms of my body, my general mood, my mental activity, what's happening, what's here. And then you just be present, feeling what's happening. And the mind might be used to jumping off, wanting to do something. You just come back to just this overall sensitivity. So it's quite a broad range of experience rather than a focus on a particular thing like the breath. So you're training the mind to settle into a broad awareness, a whole awareness, and stay with it and notice how things are connected. Now a very simple example of that is that you, you might notice that there's tension in your body and you might also then start to notice that you're slightly, on an emotional level, slightly anxious and that your mind is jumping around about something. So they're connected. So in this way you start to bring awareness first of all and primarily into the body and that settles the, the tension in the shoulders, say, or in the throat. And that has an effect on your general mood and emotions and your mental activity. So by being aware of the obvious things first, awareness starts to settle you and calm you and just bring you into a more open state of what's here. Then you can start to notice the more subtle feelings, sensations, qualities that are actually going on in your mood, but also in your body particularly. So you have a sense of, well, actually, you, you might have a particular feeling in your chest or in your abdomen or your belly, and you just come into it and you just notice it. Now, part of this approach of being receptive and sensitive to what's here is that you might notice things which are uncomfortable. And part of what one perhaps does is jump away from what's uncomfortable. In this practice and this training, you start to broaden your awareness and come into the range of experience from the comfortable and the pleasurable, the enjoyable, as a whole range. So you get used to not jumping away but coming back and staying with 
and letting the awareness have an effect on what's happening. So you're coming back, staying with the range of sensations, feelings, qualities in your body and your mood. And if something is uncomfortable, there is a sort of judgment call here in a way. Can you stay with it? Is it okay to stay with it? If the answer to that is yes, then you stay with it. If it's very traumatic uh, and frightening, then you, as it were, in a manner of speaking, give it a bit of distance. You might still be in the vicinity of it, but you just a little bit away, you're not in it. And in this way you, you, you start to, to learn the skill of coming closer into an experience with awareness and letting the awareness have an effect on that uh, feeling, emotion, sensation in the body. Awareness always makes a difference. The awareness itself makes changes. And you sometimes can notice this by the way that your body is responding. You might notice that there's a sort of sigh or a letting go. That's a sign in a way that the awareness has made a shift or a change in what's happening. So, taking on the general intention not to have anything particular to do, make space, time, just to take in what's happening from the obvious to the more subtle, staying with the whole range of experience.